really quick look at the box itself. There's not much to look at except for on the back. They have provided an excellent diagram where you might want to locate your Wi-Fi range extender within your house or building. Definitely take a close look at this. Okay, that's enough at looking at the outside. Let me go ahead and grab my pocket knife and open up this box so that we can take a close-up look at the extender itself. To begin with, there's a quick start manual in here and it gives excellent diagrams and information. I'll put that aside for now and let's take a really close-up look at the extender. Um, on the left side, we have the factory reset on and off button, WPS, an access point or extender button, and also a lot of air vents because this baby does get hot. And then on the bottom, we have model numbers, serial number, and WPS numbers. Also, lots of air vents and an AC plug as well. And talking about air vents, they're all over this device, as you can see here. Also on the bottom we have an Ethernet port and you can connect any wireless device that you have uh, directly to the extender via an Ethernet cable. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the front of the unit here very quickly. We have a couple of LED lights that are going to be very useful in the setup here. Um, on the left side we have a couple of router signal lights and then on the right side we have a couple of client signal lights and then um, on the left side down below here we have a power and WPS LED light. Alright, um, let's go ahead and set this up. By locating a open AC wall outlet within the same room where your router is located and once you plug it in, the power light will go from amper to a solid green within about 90 seconds or so. And once that takes place, you can go ahead and press the WPS button on the side of the extender. And the WPS LED will blink. Now, once it's blinking, within two minutes, you want to go ahead and press the WPS button on your router and at this point the WPS LED on the extender lights um, solid green and the router link LED lights and the extender connects to your existing Wi-Fi network. So let's go ahead over to our computer and see if we can locate the extender SSID on our Wi-Fi network here and right here is my primary router that I'm connected to and right below is the 5 gigahertz extender SSID and below that is the 2.4 gigahertz um, extender SSID. Alright, let me go ahead and go up and disconnect from my primary uh, router which is Skybird 5. I'm going to click on disconnect and that will allow me to go down here and click on the Skybird underscore 5G EXT and go ahead and click on connect and see if I can connect to the extender and I'm sure I can and once I do it tells me I'm connected and it's a secure network and I should be able to access the internet at this point so I'm going to go down and open up an internet browser Firefox happens to be the one I'm going to open up and it opens up my home page which happens to be Google Alright, I'm connected to the internet via the extender at this point, so I'm going to go ahead and close this out. And pop over to the Wi-Fi range extender one last time, and as you can see, all the lights are solid green, which indicates that it is connected to the Wi-Fi router and also to my computer as well. Okay, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like and leave a like if you like.